Well, welcome to my kitchen. I am going to make a dish today that is so simple. It's called cavatini, crock pot cavatini. Now this is something that is really nice, especially for today we all work. So you can make this in the morning, you can make it the night before, stick it in your crock pot, plug it in uh, when you first get home from work or if the kids get home early or your husband, all you have to do is have them plug it in and let it cook for two to three hours. And it'll be done and it's wonderful. Very simple to make. Now all you have to do is cook, get my crock pot bowl out here. First of all, you take, I've got my hamburger fried up and I've got two pounds, probably a little bit more than two pounds, of ground beef. And you take that and you put it in your crock pot. Like I said, you can make all this the night before, which is really nice, or you can make it that morning. Then, after you get that done, take your um, macaroni, and put that in and it takes about four cups and that's usually your choice which style you want to use. I have these little curly ones in the cabinet today so I thought hey I've had them a while might as well use them. So that's what I'm using today. Put those in there and I didn't cook those completely done almost done because we're going to be cooking this for a while. Another thing that's nice about it, if you're home and you're going to be cleaning house, you can put this on and get it ready around noon or something. Start cooking it. Ignore it. Go clean your house. Go shopping or whatever you want to do. And when you come home, it's going to be done. And you don't have to worry about hurrying home and getting home in time to get it all done, get supper done, because you've already got it finished. Because it's in the crock pot. So, then we need to take, after we get that in there, I think we're going to stir that up a little bit makes a nice big pot. Now, you, this is optional. We like garlic. And if I can get fresh garlic, I'm going to chop it up. I am not going to use garlic salt if I can get fresh. But I like garlic and spaghetti and just about, I like garlic in anything. So, I'm putting garlic in mine. Then after you do that, take a package of pepperoni. Put your pepperoni in there. Pepperoni wants to stick together, doesn't it? But that's kind of greasy, that's why. But that's okay because everything will just start cooking together. One nice thing about it is this makes a nice comfort meal. Nice meal for if you have to go shopping and everything and you just don't have time to cook. You think, oh, I gotta hurry home and cook and no you don't. All you have to do is get home in time to put some breadsticks or something in the oven, which takes five to six minutes to get done. Then add some mushrooms. Now, a can of mushrooms. Now, I don't like, a lot of people do, but I don't. I don't like the big mushrooms. Should have bought small chips, and I didn't have any today. So, I'm just going to take my scissors, and I'm going to cut them up into little pieces. Not real little, but small pieces, so that I will like them. Put your 
mushrooms in there. And you take a 32 ounce of spaghetti sauce and you put it in. I'm going to put a little bit in so I can stir this together so I can get it all mixed up a little bit before I put my cheese in. Now my mozzarella cheese, we use a lot, a lot of cheese. So I had, the bag I had is more than I need for this. It says use a pound. So... I'm going to I'm going to make a mess. Call me Messy Bessie, because I always make a mess. That's okay. I can tell my grand great grandchildren, make a mess, we'll clean it up. It's no big deal. My little great granddaughter was cooking with me and she said, Oh, I need a mess. I said, What do we do when we make a mess? And she goes, clean it up later. And I said, okay. Well, you know what? I think I might just have about a pound in that. My crock pot may not be big enough. I may have to let some of this melt down and then put it back in here. Smells good. But we'll get it all stirred together. Then we'll plug it in. We'll let it cook. Like I said, for two to three hours. Then we'll come back and we'll check it. Then we'll put some breadsticks in the oven for five to six minutes usually. Might as well just dump it all. This is something that everybody likes. Everybody loves spaghetti. So they're going to love this. Once you make it, it'll be one of those dishes that go to dishes for when you're in a hurry because it is great. You can make it and have it on hand, go shopping and get all your stuff done and come home and have a great meal. Okay, we're going to put this on and cook it for two to three hours. Then we're going to come back and see what it looks like and tastes like. There. Smells pretty yummy. All right, well, we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, we're back, and I think the cavatini should be done. Set it over here. Nice big dish there. Now, when you make this, you can add, if you want more, uh, garlic in it or you can not put any in it at all um, you can make it however way you want there oh it smells good but it's very simple to make doesn't take long at all and it's really really a good meal there you go. That's all there is to it. I'm going to cheat and try a bite of it. Mm. Mm. Very good. I hope... Mm. I hope you try that. We'll have the uh, recipe posted down below it. Just try it. Let us know how you like it. And uh, I'm sure it'll become one of your favorites. I like to add just a little more pepperoni in mine than the recipe calls for. So if you want to try that, you can. And I appreciate you 
joining me today for this recipe. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Thank you bunches.